Vernon K. kicked off his Radio 2 show with a classic approved by his teenage daughters, and messages from fellow DJs that made him well up. The Bolton-born broadcaster, 49, has replaced veteran Ken Bruce, who helmed the mid-morning program for 31 years. Vernon opened his show yesterday by saying to listeners, right then, here we go, the adventure, let it begin. Good morning everyone, welcome, welcome on board. Let's do this. His opening track was U2's Beautiful Day, after which he said, tried and tested. My two daughters, Phoebe and Amber, they said, yeah dad, it's a classic. Play it. There you go, beautiful day, you two, kicking us off. He followed this with Chick's good times, hopefully a sign of things to come. And the DJ got deary as he heard messages from other DJs including Zoe Ball, Scott Mills, and Joe Wiley. Eamon Holmes in blistering attack on actors Holly and Phil amid this morning feud Joe said, you're gonna be fantastic. I know you are. You are such a lovely person to listen to on the radio and you're lovely inside and out as well. You are fun. You have a real love of music, a real passion. An emotional Vernon, 49 added, you've stirred me brew there. That was lovely. He went on, it's a beautiful day here in central London and I do honestly, hand on heart, hope it's a wonderful day wherever you are in the UK. And that's one thing we're not going to be on this show. We're not gonna be London centric. This shows for you. It's about what's going on in your world. His dad, a lorry driver, and his cousins are all avid listeners to Radio 2, and the first listener to have his message read out was a lorry driver. Vernon said, Chris the trucker on his way to Cobridge, I doff my cap and it's a great privilege and an honor for me that the first message I read out is from a lorry driver. Don't miss. Lou Swimmins Janet Street Porter brutally calls out co star for low standards. Latest, the show will feature the daily music quiz 10 to the top, replacing Kin's Pop Master, tracks of my years, the record and album of the week, and performances from the Radio 2 Piano Room. Ahead of his first show, Vernon, married to Strictly Come Dancing presenter Tess Daly, appeared on BBC Breakfast, promising it would be more of the same. He said, I'm very, very excited. Nothing has changed apart from the voice behind the microphone. Asked if he gets nervous, he said, it's only talking. I think it's that connection with the audience, the bond that you have. Fingers crossed, people will stay with us. Vernon K, weekdays 9.30 noon, Radio 2 and BBC Sounds. Review by Mark Jeffries, showbiz editor Most new hosts of TV and radio shows want to start with a bang and in dramatic fashion. But Vernon K. did the right thing yesterday and kept it simple. Replacing someone legendary like Ken Bruce means the pressure is on, and the first chunk of this show was filled with big music hits and nothing too risky. Vernon sweetly explained his daughters had helped choose his first song by U2. When he did speak it was either simple shoutouts and nice anecdotes or just playing down any changes. At one point he said, everyone just simmer. Let's bring the boil down to a simmer. So much noise in the build up to this show, as to be expected, but we are here now, we are in the chair and the microphone is working and that is all that matters. And in truth he was right.
The music playlist could have been Ken Bruce's show and the chatter was amusing and gentle which is what most people want on a Monday morning. For now Vernon seems a very safe pair of hands and a happy, cheery voice for the mornings ahead. All okay so far, 